Before we get started in today's video, I'm gonna need you to listen up. We have a ton of news, like a ton of news inside this video, but before we get started, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys decided to use my code in-game. It's just like a supported creator code, it really helps me out a lot, and I really would appreciate it if you decided to use it, and hey, who knows, maybe if I see you in-game, I might gift you something. But enough of that business, let's cover the news, and I know I haven't made a video in a few days, and if you don't know already, retcon's a thing now. If you guys come to the rec center, you guys will notice that retcon is here by the message on the board, and the this big old thing advertising retcon. It's pretty cool and you probably obviously already knew this because YouTubers are talking about it, developers are talking about it, shoot, Requiem even has a little announcement video on their actual channel talking about it. It's different this year, way different compared to other retcons and stuff like that, so of course we're gonna be checking them out and of course we'll get started in this video. First off, this was our weekly rotation, we got a little retcon thing here, no weekly shop or anything like that, but we do have this rec center shop. From the rec center shop, you guys will see that we have some new stuff on the board, like some new stuff on YouTube, this retcon video, a few shorts from other creators. New Instagram post as well, this is pretty new I'm pretty sure. And we even have a new featured creator called FNAF Smemo. Sm Semo? There we go, I think. Maker Pen, that's their Discord tag. I love Neo and they're engaged IRL. New featured rooms as well, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, of course. Now with Recon, I have a few panels of my own and stuff like that, and of course, if you guys have been to them, I really do appreciate that. Hopefully, you're able to get some photos and stuff. But, of course, if you don't know already, Recon, every single day of Recon releases a schedule telling you when all the events are going to take place, and etc, etc. And, in today's actual event, we got the Gribbly Keynote. The Gribbly Keynote is famous for, you know, the fact that it's a Recon developer leaking, or not leaking, I shouldn't say leaking. <laughs> Talking about new things that are happening inside the games, like a new Recon original, new things that they're working on, and this year is pretty stacked. But yes, talking about what I was talking about, I just finished my little YouTuber versus TikToker brain battle panel, and that was the largest panel ever inside of Recon. A bunch of content creators were there, a lot of my friends, it was super fun, I had a lot of fun, I got out super early, I was not locked in, oh my gosh. Of course, massive shoutouts to everyone who went and stuff like that, and I hope you guys really enjoyed. I honestly hope Recon does more stuff with all the YouTubers and stuff like that, and hopefully your boy will be there. But yes, I had a panel on the first day of Retcon, which was Friday, had a panel today, this Saturday, and then I'm having a panel tomorrow, which is Sunday. Check it out, so you guys should totally be there, and if you guys see me, be sure to, you know, comment in game chat, I'm here from the video or something. And this is this year's Retcon. As you guys can see, we have, like, this big old hub, and we no longer have the outside area that we used to have before. It's filled with a bunch of things, and obviously, if you guys haven't checked out the room already, you probably know where everything is. They also talk about it inside their announcement video on Rec Room, but of course, I'm just going to give a brief little summary. So instead of the outside area, we have this Rec Center now, which just takes you to the Rec Center. On this side, you'll see an event board, and as you guys can see, what's live now is the Retcon Keynote that we just talked about. I'll talk about this later. And we have some upcoming stuff like this, and it's just a bunch of other events that are going to be happening later today or tomorrow, which is super cool. And then these are our main events, as you guys can see. We, these are just like super important events, especially like the Retcon Keynote, the Brain Battle that we just had, Tails, and even this live AMA. Then if you guys haven't seen over here on this side of Retcon, you guys will see that there's like this little fashion to go game mode, which is pretty cool. Basically, you just join these queues and you stand in these circles and stuff like that, and if your outfit matches the theme, then you win. It's a pretty cool game mode, and it reminds me of, you know, the actual pop-up games and stuff like that, so hopefully Requiem decides to make this like an actual pop-up game or something. Over here on this corner, you guys will see that these are like all the rooms where all the booths are and stuff like that, and this is like just the booth area. You can find booths there, there's an AFK lounge, artist alley, classes and leagues, creators, gala nominees, I'm in here, believe it or not. My booth looks like this. I know. I know. Don't gotta say anything. It's a pretty great booth. I know. We also have clubs, portfolios, and that's pretty much it. So feel free to check that out. I would spend more time on, on this area, but it, it, it's kind of boring. If you guys come over here to this side of Retcon, you guys will notice that we have another game which is called Rec Trivia, and it's honestly better with more people, but basically it's just like trivia and it asks you questions, it's sort of like pop-up games. Where can the bog monster not be found? Sunset Drive-In, Curse of Crimson, Cauldron, Isles of Lost Skull, or Golden Trophy? I'm gonna go Golden Trophy, and uh, we'll see. Woo! Hooray! And if you get one right, you even get a little bubbly too, which is awesome as well. You love to see it. I'm inside of Retcon right now, and there's even like little mini games and stuff. Apparently, you grab this. What does this do? Oh, I guess I'm just the candy king. Oh, there's a piece of candy. Okay, I have one candy. An another piece of candy. Okay, another piece of candy. Another piece of candy. Uh, sorry, I got, I got, I got, 
I got mixed. I got mixed up. You guys also notice though, whenever you collect these goblins, these are just like a little game mode inside of retcon, and you'll earn food for collecting like all 10 of them. It's a pretty simple challenge, and it honestly is just, you know, to keep you in the game and stuff. Be sure to let me know your thoughts. If there was a possibility to collect more for like a Kevin item or something like that, that would be dope. Maybe you end a suggestion for the next retcon? Who knows? Now, inside the retcon shop, you guys will find all these items. As you guys can see, we have this retcon tuxedo, this tuxedo dress, some silver sweatpants, this kitten and puppy sweater, and we have a new bubbly and maker pen skin. And that's pretty much the entire wrap of Retcon in this year. Of course, there's going to be more events, and of course, you better go to my panels or else I'll find you. But I do want to talk about this keynote that just happened with Retcon. Now, Gribbly, the Rec Room developer or creative director inside of Rec Room, had released a bunch of important news that I think is super interesting. Basically, the keynotes give us a sneak peek into new things that are happening inside the game, and it's sort of like the whole developer talks that I do on Discord, but it's a lot more extreme, and they talk about Rec Room Originals, new things that they're working on with avatars and stuff like that, and a bunch more. Now, for this keynote, of course, Gribbly had went over some stats, the fact that we had 127 million players, the fact we had 9 billion room visits, and the fact we had 5 million creators last year. We had a bunch of classes and workshops, and even $10 million paid out to creators, which was crazy. There's also a bunch of other things as well that had happened this year and stuff like that. This is just like a little overview covering everything that's happened thus far. They also went over their goals with creations and stuff like that, and they even talked about Rec Room Studio and their other, you know, building platforms. It gets real interesting though when they decide to tease the new Reckham original. Run the block! We get some more info on another side saying, run the block, the next Reckham original. It's powered by Studio and Rooms 2.0. It's a parkour festival inside Rec City and awesome on all supported advices. It's fully clonable and it's coming November. Can't wait to see what Reckham does with that new Reckham original. And of course, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts, theories, and predictions below. Hyped! That's all I gotta say, hyped. They also went over Avatar Studio and stuff like that and showed off a bunch of cool, you know, UGC items that players like you and me are actually working on, which was awesome to see. And then with Avatar items and stuff like that, they talked about the UI on the store, inside the customization menus, and as you guys can see, things are a little bit simpler, some things have been changed. Very interested in seeing those UI changes, of course. There's also new kinds of expressions, they're going to add high heels very soon, which is very interesting to see. They then also teased about Rectober that's coming up, it's spooky season if you don't already know, and they're going to be having Avatar items every single week of Rectober, and they'll even have their first ever high heels. You guys can see that they have some, you know, items that they decide to preview, and we get to see like this weird looking squid hat and this boot leg like the little pirate leg and stuff that's a cool item i can't wait to see that come out and they had two last things that they wanted to announce for this gribbly keynote these are big so pay attention crescendo is coming to quest and they're making Double Shot a real feature. It's insane, y'all. It's actually crazy. And of course, it's massive, massive news. Many people were sad about Double Shot and stuff like that, so I'm very interested to see your guys' comments, and oh my god, a whole lot of news. You'll love to see it. Also, the fact that Crescendo's coming to Quest 2 as well is awesome to see. I'm pretty sure we'll see Crescendo with Quest 3 and Quest 3S. Hopefully, we'll see it with the original Quest as well. And that's pretty much all the news that we have for this entire, you know, retcon or keynote. <sighs> New retcon, new me. Uh, wait, wait a second. Is this is this a channel membership portion of my video? I I guess it is. I gotta talk about my channel memberships. If you guys don't know what that is, basically, it's basically like a little subscription program where you guys can you know give me money every month on YouTube, and I'll give you perks every single month, like shoutouts to my videos or sneak peeks to my videos and such. And that leads me on to my shoutout portion. I gotta shout out my channel memberships and stuff like that. So of course, if you wanna be shouted out, join the family. Thank you, Ijo, for joining the Squidling Rank on my membership. It means a lot. But of course, let's shout out Calamari and up. Massive shout out to Reed Reed, not the pub, Jack tutorial, the Dragon Boy, Ghastly. Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade Cap, PB Burning Owl, Yo, It's Jakey, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix, Stein, and of course, Box David. Thank you, folks, for all the love. I do appreciate it, and thank you guys for paying for my Starbucks this month. It means a lot. So, yes, even though we talked about a new Rec Room original, some new cool things that are coming out, and even Crescendo coming to Quest, we still have more news. I haven't went over this recent update and stuff like that, and in case you guys haven't already seen, Rec Room released an update that was basically like a nothing burger. Essentially, they were just having a one sided conversation, but then they decided to tease that they've been working on some cool stuff and they can't wait to share it with us and it's actually just in preparation for some cool upgrades that they're going to be doing pretty soon and they even shouted me out inside that actual update which i thought was super cool and honestly i love rec room for doing this whoever made these patch notes really cooked thank you for you know giving me the little shout out the little mention rec room i really do try and it means a lot to see stuff like this i hold it in my heart very dearly seriously and at the moment that's pretty much it if you guys are you know excited about retcon i will hopefully start streaming it pretty soon maybe after i upload this video maybe but the creator's gala is 
going to be tomorrow, so be sure to be on Retcon for that and stuff like that, and hopefully I'll see you in Retcon. Very exciting past few days, and I'm sorry for not uploading, I was just a little busy, and of course, uh, let me know your guys' thoughts. But anyways, of course, people, thank you guys all for watching to this point in the video, and if you guys want to see more Rec Room news or have Rec Room news, be sure to leave a comment or something like that. Like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff, I really do appreciate it. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of this Rec Room video. If you guys want to see more Rec Room news, you guys should see some more Rec Room news videos on that side of the screen and stuff like that. And to kind of end off this video, I just recently got my septum pierced. That's literally the only like new thing that's happened to me recently, so that, that was pretty cool. Anyways, that's it. Bye.